Hi guys, it's me Karen and we've come back for part three. So we went over the pencils yesterday. The only thing I didn't show you was um, this little thing here. This is where I keep all my scissors, watercolor brushes, um, paint brushes, a little fluffer thing that uh, gets the wax and stuff off my desk, some uh, Signo white and my Posca pens in that one. The other one over here just holds some leftover um, Prismacolors. Okay, I'm going to kind of scroll you over here on this side of my desk. This right here is where I keep all my distress inks. This is like, um, I made that if you're wondering. <laughs> it's two boxes that I got at Hobby Lobby and they open up like a jewelry box, a long skinny box. I glued them together bottom side to bottom side and then cut out a really heavy, what they call chipboard to make the shelves for all the inks that go up there. I'll give you a closer look at that later. Down over here is where I keep all the sponges and the little tops that go on the daubers. This one is more Posca's and my fine liners. And in here are um, pencils that I use or pens that I use that I keep in their own little container or felt packets. Down here I have my ink tents. Um, they're like in a watercolor th the packet, so I'll pull those out a little later. These are some little plastic sheets and some envelopes that we don't even need to get into. And of course there's a TV in here. Um, there's a long lighter there to light up the candle that's up there. <laughs> that's my printer that I use to print. Over here is a die cutter. Uh, that I used for die cutting my cards, stickers, uh, some chalk ink here, and then just some odds and ends, okay? Odds and ends down there. Now, underneath the desk, there are these drawers. Over here in the corner, this is what I make envelopes out of for my cards. So this is just cardstock and an envelope maker, another die cutting machine. <laughs> And then under the rib here, that is photocopy paper to make photos because that will print photos. Uh, some extra paper in cardstockville, uh, so it's beige and white to make the backs of cards. Tim Holtz tissue paper, okay. A bin here for my cardstock I use to print with, and this one is full of regular printer paper. Then I will take you down and show you what's in the drawers. Sorry, I have to hold the camera because I don't have a tripod over here. Hold on. Okay, first drawer. Pen pastel drawer. So I have this uh, set up where I have all the tools on this side, all the paper wrappers so I can pull it out and find out what colors are in here. These are trays that have 10 each skin color, the flower color, and then all the other little guys down here and there are the tools okay <laughs> down below that acrylic paints and a little tape measure <laughs> there's some mica um, shards that i liked and some sprays so we have the uh, tim holtz uh, spray stains in here also. So big selection of those. Bottom drawer are Tim Holtz dies. It weighs a ton. I don't want to open that. <laughs> Over here is the watercolors. So I have uh, the pretty excellent watercolors. The Arteza 36 set. A very uh, cheap, picked it up at Fred Meyer for, I don't know, $5, but I made a lot of cards with these. I'll get that out of the way. This is a watercolor palette that I have filled up. 
and have used. These are Holbein watercolor paints. And I can get the Holbein set here. It's a set of 18 and I put them all in here. They may be little tubes, but after filling that up, there's not much gone. So, I mean, that's a good bargain for me. Okay, what else we got here is the Arteza. And these are the metallic watercolors. These are the fine tech metallic colors. We'll try to open that. I say try because I only have one hand. <laughs> okay, those are the colors that I have. Those are the names up here. I just cut that off of the um, packaging and taped it into the bottom. And then I have the, you can see the name there, Kohler, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's the gold sets. So you have the Tibetan, Inca, Arabic, gold pearl, moon gold, and the uh, sterling silver. The other stuff I have down in here are going to be uh, Lindsay Stamp Gang sprays. They're uh, very pigmented um, mica stains. So they have water in them and a powder down at the bottom. You shake it up and then they glisten like gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. I have a pile of those. I have uh, Tim Holtz Distress Stains. They have like a dauber on them like you would if you were playing um, bingo. And you put this on card faces also. All this stuff is for cards. Back here is some um, embossing enamels. And then I have embossing powders. Uh, I have a clear varnish finish back here and a bunch of stencils. So this is my spent stencil stash. I mean, there's, there's a ton of them in there. I have my glue for doing my cards. I have a tiny bit of Gamsol, which um, was a full bottle. Spilled it once, never used it. And I got more acrylic paint hiding in here. And I have uh, texture pastes, again, for cards and other things. And I have a um, Perfect Pearl pen in transparent. So if you want to put water drops on something, you just put a drop of this down and it dries hard and uh, kind of textured so it'll look like a little water drop had fallen on your paper. I have a cat, so I have a laser pointer. <laughs> Keep him away from my desk. Uh, my stapler goes right here on top of the staples. Hold on. Okay, this drawer over here. This is the one that's closest to the side of the desk I color on. So I keep all my plastic sheets in here. These are cutting mats that you get at the dollar store that I've cut down to size. Uh, they either fit in the coloring books uh, per size or I cut them even smaller and use them for, um, you know, just doing some artwork. You put the pencil or the marker or the neo color down on this and use it like a watercolor. Okay, so I have a ton of those in here. Whoops, real tiny one. I also keep all my washcloths in here. These are the rags I use when I'm doing artwork and have to clean up something. You always see me grab one. They're all in this drawer. <laughs> I have my black inks that I use for card making. My Versamark for embossing. I have some other inks in here. I cannot use these for coloring books, but I use them for cards. So that's what all those are. And I have, um, this is metallic, but it is paste. So I use these on cards or altered art. Yes, and then we have a whole bunch of extra pens. Oh, this is for card making. You put your card here and you can line it up. 
I have a bunch of the um, plastic blocks to put stamps on in here, extra pencils, uh, gel pens, a whole bunch of the blocks, and then some kneadable erasers. Lots of blocks in there. Okay, go down this one and it's going to be a looking very messy, but this is all uh, stamps that need to be put on uh, plastic blocks when I use them. Washi tape and these here are, uh, they're like a wax based rub that you put on things that give color. Do, do, do. Yeah, and a hole punch. Down there is the same thing, so we don't need to look at that. Did I look at this one? No, didn't show you this one. Okay, last drawer. Tapes. I have a set of, um, what are these, fine liner pens. They're the Stadler set. And then we have my stickles. Stickles in a jar, stickles in a bag, stickles just laying down here. We have extra um, pens in here and batteries. So we have the Wink of Stella Zig pens that I've used before. And then we have the uh, set of uh, Zebra. Um, they're like fine liners, so you can use them in color books. And you have, well, they're the three sets of colors that I picked up. Kind of neon, regular, these two are stuck together. I've got some browns, blues, and oranges. And uh, yeah, this is kind of like a junk drawer. So I have some sponges that I use for doing art too in here. And yeah, that's about it. Under here is just paper for card making. Okay, so that one down there is dies, card making supplies, extra stamps. Here's a box that I just got from Arteza and it is their um, acrylic paints in matte. Those are the colors there. Haven't found a place to put them because my acrylic drawer is pretty full. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're back. Now I did not show you these yesterday. They are in tins and they were kind of strategically placed in the other side of my desk there. So I have the Neo Colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, stuff to play with. Uh, see, I make cards. This is one of the card thingies. We can get that out of there. So these are the set. These are fun because they come out as metal tins. And you saw the length of that desk and I just lay them down over here on that side and then we can just use them and color them up. There are three trays in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous set of neo colors. Love those. So I can put those back where they were. <laughs> Boom. And then I have the uh, Derwood Ink Tense blocks that I have yet to play around with too much. I did a little bit of playing around dirtied a couple of these trays over here. You just wet these like a watercolor or you can use them as like a pastel. They come out as a little block. They are little blocks of ink and you can use them just the way you do the pencils. These match the pencils perfectly. So you have one set here and one set down here. Gorgeous colors. Okay, didn't want to forget to show you those. And they go over here, underneath that area. Okay, I have these cute little felt um, pouches. I got these on Amazon for a ridiculous like six bucks or something. <laughs> Cheap price. And in these I keep uh, things that I want to just grab and be able to pull out. So these are the metallic uh, shiny Posca pens, I'm going to call them. They are more like for the kids to play with, but they have glitter in them and they're gorgeous and fun to play with. So I got a set of those and I have a Wink of Stella in clear here to play with. So this is my glitter stuff <laughs> in here. 
Now, because I did um, show you all my pencils, I put uh, two things back in the pencil cases. In the light gray one, I usually carry the luminance skin colors, so I have to put them back in here. And this one is whatever else I just need to get off my desk one. So say somebody's coming over, which isn't going to happen for a while, but you know, when that did, I would pick up the pencils that I've been working with on my desk that I don't want to put away in the case because I'm coloring a picture and I need to know what they are. I'll dump those in here. So the black one is always used for that. So I have a black one, a light gray, a lightish gray, a, a darker gray, and then of course the lightest gray that I always keep my Prismacolors in that I use for Magical Dawn. Don't think I'm organized. I just needed to get things off my desk. <laughs> okay, one of the plastic uh, things that we saw that was on the side of the desk holds this. Like I said, not organized, just need to put a bunch of stuff away. So I have a gold, a stardust, and diamond stickles. These are ones that I reach for a lot and I just keep them upside down, point down, keep the glue down to the bottom of the bottle here so when you're squeezing it out, when it gets empty, you have the stuff at the bottom so you can use it. I have a Posca. I like Posca and the uh, Signo. I have sometimes a problem with the Signo uh, pen, although it's really pretty, it works well on cards, but in color books sometimes the uh, fibers that are in the pages will get caught in the roller and it doesn't come out as nicely. I use a lot of uh, Posca and acrylic paint on my books. Okay, this is a, a fancy little tool for my watch. These are cards that I don't use anymore. They were, um, you know, gift cards. I use them to smear uh, paint or glue on my cards. That's why they're there. I have, um, this here is a black Tombow pen. No, not black, I'm sorry, it's clear. It's uh, for blending, so it's a colorless blender. Hmm, this is an Arteza yellow, uh, what are we here, here? Twee marker. I have a set of those. They are in a uh, closet underneath a bunch of stuff, so I'm showing you I have a set of these. <laughs> um, this one didn't get put away, so you know I have those. I have my Faber-Castell pit pens that I love in here. And I have a blue ballpoint. I have a couple of these tools. Um, they're called McGill uh, tools. They come on with a, plas or a pad. What you do is you punch out a flower and you use it. You put the paper down on a pad here and you squish it down and it curves the paper and makes a really pretty petal. But I've also find that they are great when you want to put a perfect dot on your paper. You dip it in acrylic paint, put it down on the paper, and you get a perfect size dot all the time. So that's what I've been using those for. These are just overfill from my Tim Holtz um, mini tools. So we have a pile of those. I have a uh, what do you call these? They're a stump for um, blending chalk. You can use them to blend your uh, colored pencils too, or other things. Uh, this I have one here for other things. I have one on my desk that I use to do the colored pencils. I have a Caran d'Ache uh, colorless blender here, more pit pens. This one is the black Cali Art sparkle ink and then I have a Koi coloring brush water-based uh, pen and I have a jelly roll white don't use it often little eraser tips and a extra set of batteries 
for my eraser that is not very clean, but <laughs> gets used a lot. Oh, oh, yeah, there's the name. Oh, you, ho, who, the, whatever. The little refills just go in here. You just pull this out, put it in there, and pop it back in. Battery operated with the AAA batteries. And it just has a push button here, and I love this thing. Okay, we'll put all that stuff back. I don't think there's anything down there. This is just like the, another, let's put everything in here junk pile. Okay, <laughs> move that one out of the way. The other plastic one, yeah, I'm gonna get it over here. There you go. These are all the other <laughs> little pads that go on to the tools. These have different colors on them. So I, I know what they are because I've been working with them so much. I was gifted these little tools here to try out. I semi-like them for things, but I really like them to blend a pastel background on a um, page. Don't know why this is in here. It's a pen. There's another pen in here. I have the set of detail mini tools here that I use to get into tight spaces. That's my black pen I've been looking for. I'll have whatever else in the bottom of here. So another gel pen in white, another Posca in case I need them, and a stickles down there. But mostly that's what these are. Now the Tim Holtz tools, they come in a square, a round, and a mini detail. Now these can be found under Tim Holtz or Ranger. So I know this one is a Ranger Detail Mini Tool. Well, it's a mini something, mini. <laughs> yeah. This one's the round one and this one is the square one. I can always find them. Just put in Ranger Mini Detail and it'll come up. Anyway, those are all kept in here. And if I can get it back where it was without having it spill, I'll just be amazed. There we go. Okay. Now, um, the other stuff that was in that corner are these things. So, I have the Posca set uh, in colors. This one is missing the white one because I had to use it, and it probably got put in with the other white ones somewhere. So orange, pink, red, purple, blue, light blue, brown, light green, yellow, dark green, and black. Love this set. I have the um, pigment liners. It was gifted to me from Stadler, and I really like these, along with the um, set here of the Micron Sakura uh, pens too. I've got these in the little uh, round thing that I have everything. These I keep in this container. It's got a really nice little flip top thingy here that you can set up. <laughs> anyway, got those. And then we have, I go through a ton of white Prisma pencils, so what I did was just bought a um, whole box of them. So this is a box of 12. Of course, there's like four of them missing already. I have the Derwent uh, Ink Tents palette here. And yes, it gets used. It's not very clean. This is set number one. This is the one I prefer. It's got the colors that I really like. I did not get set two because they're lighter and brighter. And since I have the Ink Tents in pencil form and block form. I didn't think I needed them. And then I have a Winsor & Newton um, watercolor set that uh, I keep out on my desk to do a quick little fixes on cards if I need to. Okay. Put those away. The only other thing that I have out here well, besides what's up there, well, are my um, tools.
tools and my ink. This is my pencil sharpener. I don't know if you can read that. It's D-A-H-L-E-133. Can you read that? I don't know if you can. Best pencil sharpener I own. <laughs> it does have a little hole down here that you can clamp it onto your desk if you want to. You pull this out, you push that button in, you put your pencil in. It doesn't matter what size your pencil in is, it will hold on to it. And if you pull it out like that, it'll hold it out. You crank, that will go in and it'll only sharpen your pencil to the point. It won't go any further. And my Prisma pencils never break if I keep it at the right um, point here. You can adjust your point so you can have a really tight point or a dull point. So I always turn it down when I'm doing my Prismas and then I crank it up if I'm doing my polys. Another one of my favorite little tools is this uh, spinning circle. It also has straight lines and little dots. I picked this up on Amazon after seeing somebody use it. I don't remember who, but I can put it down on a piece of paper, uh, whether it's black paper, white paper, whatever, and I either use a um, charcoal white, Prisma white, you can make bubbles. You can ink a little bit through here with the um, ink pad dude here, stick it right through, and you can put like a bokeh pattern on the back. I don't even know how to pronounce that word, so don't get mad at me. But uh, I like it because you have different uh, size. So if you're doing something really small, you get little tiny circles. If you're doing something big, you get bigger circles to cover the background in. Or if you just need a circle. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> I have a uh, Distress ink. Uh, well, Distress. Bleh. We can speak. It's a sprayer. It sprays out in um, not a fine mist, so kind of more clunky water. And it has an off on button here. So if I'm not using it, I turn it off. You can't spray water out of here. That's just in case my cat gets up on my desk. He can't spill water all over my desk. So I use that a lot with my Distress Ink. That's a Tim Holtz product. Um, I showed you my eraser. These are my other erasers. These I keep on my desk up by my computer foot. So, oh, I have another one. This one I have to look for. I had it out here the other day. It's in my little tub of stuff. <laughs> it's a tiny little one. I know I put it in here but I will have to look for it because I'm not sure where I put it in here. Nope, it's a little mono uh, eraser, so I'll look for that later. Anyway, okay, so we have a Faber-Castell. This is the Needle Boy eraser. I just got these. So they come in their own little um, plastic box and they're needable for the uh, pen pastels. I thought I would pick one up for that. So I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I have a sandpaper. <laughs> it's a sand eraser from Tombow. And uh, if you have a, a coloring book that has a pencil that is harder to erase, this is a sand eraser and it will actually pick up some of the paper with it which makes it nice uh, don't use it too much because it will rip through your paper if you're not careful these two erasers are from a san marino a store that um, i guess you could now call them the uh, i don't know their name it's a japanese store so I have fun with these. They're a soft eraser. Um, this one's a little candy, a tiny little stripe in here. This candy is getting really small, but they're very, very soft, uh, kind of smushy, but they don't smush like uh, the kneadable eraser. 
they won't tear your paper. They're a very soft erasing point. They work good for the um, Prismacolors. Works really nice. So both of these are the same. This one you just pull one out and stick it down in the bottom and push it up and you get another eraser. And then of course my favorite, the electric eraser that takes up just about everything. Okay. Let's see. I also have a little set of these. These are the uh, Spectrum Noir um, Glitter. So you see the glitter here, you shake it up. Just kind of like the uh, pens and then you get a fine glitter when you're painting this on. I like that a lot too. Okay, what else do I have on my desk other than the ink? I don't know. Oh, I got plain old rulers. <laughs> I'm not very thrilled about that. This one is a Tim Holtz ruler. It has a center point on it. Um, that's why I like it. So when I'm doing cards and I need to line it up, I can find the center of a card by just putting the paper down and putting the center point on and making sure you have the same distance on both sides. I like that. Uh, this one is just one that has uh, centimeters on it that I need. Okay. We'll get the camera down now and show you the um, distress inks. Okay, this is where I keep all my distress inks. And this is what I um, store them all upside down in this little box area. These are two like jewelry boxes that um, they do close. I put little feet on the bottom of this. I have a little latch here. And if you close the latch, you can put the little key down the little hole and lock it up. I usually just leave it open because I need access to my inks kind of on a daily basis. That's how much I use them. I have a video uh, in my channel on all the colors that I have and how they work. The only other thing I keep up here is my little stamp that I like to use. This is a stamping up stamp. It comes in a set of four. I got it second hand, I think off eBay. They are called the itty bitty background stamps. And this is the smallest one and it puts down those nice little dots that you see in a lot of my work. The other things I have up here are uh, the things I used to make clouds. So I made little stencils. They're just out of cardstock. Um, just kind of do a cloud shape and then I use these with the ink. So I just save them for the next time I need to do them. I've got little dots here cut out in different sizes. So I use those also. Okay. And then we have, sorry about the movement. Up here is a shelf and that's where I keep my Distress Ink refills. Uh, some other items that, woo, sorry about that. Items that I, I use in card making, a bunch of glitter on that side. And then we have my um, objects up here that I did that is altered art also. So it's like a bird cage. And I added the flowers and the birdie, all the moss, the lace, the ribbon, just like I did on these up here where you've got lace on one side and gears on the other. I have a little um, fixation with gears. I think they're cool. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna turn the camera a little. I don't know if that'll work, but down here is where we have um, the foot of my computer. And that's where I keep my erasers and my other things. Then I have my calendar here and my other books on this side. These are personal items on that side that I use. So, okay guys, that's it. That's all the stuff that I have, supplies wise. <laughs> so I finally finished that one. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video where I will be coloring. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye now. Take care everyone.